Welcome to St. Joseph's Catholic Church in downtown Wilmington. This Sunday is the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. Our opening hymn is Come Adore. Our offertory hymn is Gift of Finest Wheat. The communion hymn is I Received the Living God. And our closing hymn is Oh, How I Adore Jesus. Have left us 
a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit of God forever and ever. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, remember how for 40 years now the Lord, your God, has directed all your journey in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He, therefore, let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with his serpents and scorpions, its harsh and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we through many are one body, 
for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus says here, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Today we celebrate Corpus Christi Sunday. The day in which we recognize and, and honor our belief in the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. The readings come from the Gospel of St. John. And St. John is different from the other three Gospels, which we call the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. The difference between John's Gospel and the other three Gospels is that if you look through John's Gospel, guess what you are never ever going to find? You're never going to see Jesus at the Last Supper saying, this is my body 
This is my blood. Eat and drink in remembrance of me. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say that. What he wants us to realize that when we partake of the Eucharist, when we eat his flesh and drink his blood, we become a part of him. There is no separation. Jesus is within us. And we within him by way of our belief in the real presence. Now, here's where it gets interesting, I think. We are told by St. John that the Jews quarrel among themselves. The other gospel uses the term the disciples as opposed to the apostles. Remember, there were only 12 apostles, but 72 disciples. And so some of the disciples began to murmur, you know, and say, you know, who can accept this teaching? Now, I know that there are some people who want to say that it was all symbolic. The Jews were not idiots. They understood clearly what Jesus was saying. Maybe it was the way he spoke it. Maybe it was the intensity of, of his eyes looking upon them. Maybe it was both. But they understood that this was not something that was symbolic. He was saying, you must eat my flesh, you must drink my blood in order to have everlasting life. Pure and simple. Nothing complicated. And that's why some of them said, this teaching is too much for us. And they walked away. They walked away. Jesus wants us to be intimate with him. And the way that intimacy takes place is not only by way of prayer, not only by, by way of hearing the good news, especially the Gospels and the Epistles, the New Testament, but also here at this table, the altar of the Lord, when we make the sacrifice that Jesus died for us on Calvary and reenact that to the Father for our salvation, we become intimate with him when we eat his flesh and drink his blood. I know right now, for those of you who are true believers, who are Catholic from the core of your very being, you are right now crying out in pain and suffering because you want to eat Christ's flesh. You want to drink his blood. You want to be nourished. And because of this pandemic, you are being forced to keep away from that very sustenance that gives us eternal life. As Bill Clinton would say, I feel your pain. However, it's only for a little while. Pray to Jesus that even though you cannot receive him sacramentally, you can receive a communion by desire. Once more when the church will be open and you have the courage to enter into the building and receive his body and receive his blood. Give him the glory and the praise that is his due. As I had said to you last week, and sometimes it's worth saying something over and over again, the younger people, they have a tendency to think that time is slow. You know, it takes forever for a day to come to an end, forever for the school year to come to an end. You know, those of us who are a little bit older, 
we know, you and I, we know that time flies by quickly. Like a train that's out of control. That's the way the clock seems to be moving. Faster and faster and faster. So the good news is that you will be back here in this church, standing here at the foot of the altar and receiving the body and blood, the soul and divinity of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're only separated from him for a little while from receiving the Eucharist. But keep in mind, he has not abandoned us. And I know that you are not going to abandon me. One of the fears, to be honest with you, among some Catholic clergy is that some people may become comfortable watching the Mass from their homes. I pray that you never become comfortable with not receiving the body and the blood of Jesus. I believe in one God, the Father of all mighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. The God did not make, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. And for our salvation, he came to God again. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in the presence of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who for the Father and the Son is the Lord and the Lord God, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, godly, and apostolic church. I confess one that this is the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring to God our needs and concern, trusting in his mercy. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are experiencing anxiety, fear, loneliness, and depression, that they may experience the peace of Jesus who comfort them and give them renewed hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have lost jobs and are worried about meeting their financial needs in the future, that they may experience God's love and providence today and in the days to come, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the health care professionals who are overworked and exhausted, that the Lord give them renewed strength and protection from COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For enlightenment for our medical scientists, protection for the uninfected, healing for those who are infected from the virus, and eternal rest for those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to gun violence here in Wilmington and throughout the nation. We pray for our youth that they may be protected from gun violence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to racial prejudice, not only in the United States, but throughout the world, that we may come to know and to learn that we are truly brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all the parishioners of St. Joseph Parish here on French Street, that we may be protected from this virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us take a moment and bring to the Lord our own personal needs and concerns, especially our intentions here at the foot of the altar. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear our prayers and that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the help of God and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for the ark of the good of his holy church. Grant your church, the Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in the mystery, in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the last supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by his sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, 
may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this one wonderful sacrament that so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and with our end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out of you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Look, we pray, upon the 
oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, rather than we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, the Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O oh, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleased to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom you bestow on the world all that is
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called and the suffer of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may be light for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. This is a true announcement. Don't forget to send in your petitions, we put them here, and the Lord will answer your prayers, but you have to ask. Amen. Normally here, this time, we'll be asking visitors to stand. And you will go on, and you will ask uh, who's celebrating a birthday. Well, you celebrating a birthday this week, raise your hand. Hello. <laughs> Happy birthday, Father Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. It's the end of the end of the end of the end of the end Well, I was 69, so it's the end of the 60s and the beginning. Next this time this year will be, it will be the birth of the 70s. <laughs> that locomotive is moving, folks. We have to go through. I also want to uh, congratulate any husband and wives who are celebrating a wedding anniversary. Um, I 
think next week is probably going to do it. And I'd like to thank everyone who's been contributing to the parish. Uh, thank you for uh, using the internet to uh, give us your donations and, 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 and for sending your donations in by the postal service. Thank you very much. Again, if your donation came back to you by way of the postal service, uh, this reset it because we're working with them and we're going to make sure that they get it right because we need the revenue in order to pay our bills here in St. Joseph. I, I, uh, Chuck here is, is with us for the first time doing the filming. Chuck, thank you very much. <laughs> and Robert, thank you. And thank you, Jenny. And God bless all of you and have a safe week. And one more thing. Uh, we are no longer going to be recording the Bible scripture uh, sessions. However, we are still going to be doing them. And you just have to come in uh, live and, and don't hesitate. Please don't hesitate to put your two cents worth in because your opinion is, is as valuable as anybody else's, okay? And maybe be more valuable because you may knock us all off our feet. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended.